So today we're gonna to be talking about how to do a 360 throwback. A 360 throwback is just like a 180 throwback, except instead of doing a 180, you do a full 360 spin and catch the skate back in the original position. If you haven't seen our 180 tutorial, make sure you have checked that one out. It's definitely a prerequisite to doing the 360 because it's slightly less advanced. Right there. And then come back. So just like in that 180 tutorial, I'm gonna be breaking the 360 throwback down into a couple steps that you can practice, which is gonna make it a little quicker and easier to pick up rather than just going for it and seeing what happens. Step number one, we're gonna get rid of your back skate. So for me, that's my left skate. So get rid of that one. And uh, only use your front skate because that's the one you're gonna be pivoting on. So you're gonna put it down underneath your foot and you're gonna wanna scoot your foot slightly backwards on the skate because that will put more of your weight on the inwards wheel and less of the weight on the outwards wheel. And that way you reduce the friction while you're spinning. If you have an even distribution of weight on both the wheels, you can imagine they're both kind of sliding along the ground versus if you kind of scoot your weight a little bit to the inside, more of your weight is here, which reduces the friction and allows you to just kind of pivot on one wheel. So that's why when I'm doing 360 throwbacks, I like to scoop my foot a little bit inwards. So now once you have your foot in that position, we're just gonna try and do a one foot 360. And this is gonna look a little janky at first. The beauty of it is your other foot's not on the skate, so as long as you're not fully sending it, you really shouldn't be able to hurt yourself on this step. If you're having trouble getting a full 360 degrees during your spin, um, pay attention to your arms and your shoulders, because what you're gonna wanna do is sort of start the momentum in your upper body and then complete it in your lower body. So your upper body goes around and then you transfer it to your lower body as you spin and then put your foot back down, leading the turn with your shoulder. Once you get comfortable and you're kind of making it a full 360 degrees around the circle, then you're gonna wanna assign like a landmark where your back foot is gonna be. So your back foot's gonna be like on a stick or on a crack or something. And then you're gonna do the spin and then try to land back on that landmark. So the throw in a 360 throwback is actually pretty unique because all you're doing is throwing the skates so that you can take your foot off and then catch it back in the exact same place. So you might think that you don't actually need to throw, but you do because you're moving and if you were to just drop the skate, it would fly backwards and you'd have to do the splits to catch it again. So what you have to do is kind of give it a little push and this is kind of just the same throw as a throwback, but with a lot less force so that it doesn't come in front of you, but it just kind of stays back here and comes back. So if you are laying your back skate down so it's scraping along the ground, you do need to tilt it slightly so that when you've completed your 360 turn, it'll come right back and be exactly where you want it to be. So it's basically like a 180 throwback throw, except not nearly as hard and slightly less angle because you only want it to go slightly out and then come slightly back so it's right where you left it while you're spinning. And depending on how fast you're spinning, you're gonna need to adjust your throw. Typically, you should be spinning pretty quickly and get back to the skate before it's gone too far. To practice this throw, it's easiest to isolate it from the spin and just do the throw with the back skate. And this is gonna look kind of weird and it's gonna be kind of difficult to see it um, in this position, but it's still worth it to just get the, the throw slightly more down. And step three is putting it all together. So you might have noticed that when I was doing my uh, little baby throws, I was really like craning my head forward in order to be able to see the skate. And that's just because every throw is different um, depending on the ground and whatnot, it's gonna go differently and your speed versus the speed of the skate. You have to always be watching the skate if possible. So with the 360 throwback, if you're leading with your shoulders a lot, you can also just turn your head immediately, like right at the start of the spin and lock onto your skate almost as soon as you release it, and that way you're constantly seeing where it is. All right, let's show some examples. So now that you know the steps, get out there and go practice, and take some videos and see how you do. And for extra credit, throw a really sharp angled throwback 180 throw, and spin 540 degrees, and that's a throwback 540. That one's super fun.
Thank you guys for watching. If you still have questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to get future videos. And also, make sure to check out some of our other tutorials by clicking one of the videos that are on screen right now. Thanks again, everybody, and roll with us.